Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We're going to have a look around the region right now as we look into the Luther family Ford view. Some blue skies there and in Grand Forks the same. A little bit more cloud cover in the Southern Valley down near Hankinson at exit one at the Dakota Magic Casino, but the darkest clouds moving into the Devil's Lake Basin right now, and that's where the radar shows the activity. 75 in Grand Forks this hour. That is the hot spot in our entire area and it's 77 in Minneapolis. That's not too cool either. Pretty nice out there. All 70s and very comfortable to get outdoors and enjoy some ribs at Rib Fest or whatever your favorite barbecue is. As we take a look at the satellite and radar, there's those clouds moving into the Devil's Lake Basin. Radar showing just a couple of returns, so it's really hit and miss at best. This type of weather, the fair weather cumulus clouds, tends to form in the heating of the day. So as we lose the heating of the day and the sun sets, this is all going to diminish and we're going to be left with a quiet evening. So not likely that these will make their way anywhere near Fargo, but if you are in places like Devil's Lake, you can see this larger batch of showers that will be making its way, likely clipping the western reaches of Nelson County, maybe even making its way down to the Highway 200 corridor. So your hour by hour forecast does show spotty showers as we go through the evening and then after sunset they dissipate. Temperatures will slip into the 50s for most of us overnight. A few of us dipping down into the 40s briefly and look at this quiet and mostly clear sunshine to start your Thursday as we get outdoors and enjoy some lovely conditions out there. More clouds developing on that boundary that has been in the same spot since last week. That is where the showers and clouds have been, mainly from northern and central parts of North Dakota to southeast North Dakota. That is where they look to continue for the day tomorrow. In the afternoon, we'll get a little heating. We'll have some pop-up showers just like we did. They'll be here and there, but most of us will stay dry. Temperatures a little bit warmer as we uh, will see close to 80 degrees for a couple of locations here in the Red River Valley. Tomorrow, as we see the sunset, once again, these shower chances will diminish as we head into the evening hours, but we do have some changes on the way. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Right now, we'll look at your planning forecast. Temperatures rising all the way up to near 80 degrees in Fargo-Moorhead. Not quite as gusty for the day tomorrow. Wind still northerly, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Afternoon clouds and our northern neighbors may see a shower. I think we stay dry here in the FM area and temperatures falling down after sunset. By the way, tomorrow night sunset 920 PM. Oh, let's talk about the extended forecast. I talked about that boundary that's been stuck basically western North Dakota down into South Dakota for the last several days, over five days. Tomorrow, more of the same, but coming into Friday, check it out. This axis moves it kind of sets up over the valley. We're not going to see rain here everywhere all night, but we'll have a better chance at some showers making their way into the Red River Valley for your Friday night into Saturday. And again, Saturday night into Sunday, they'll be hit and miss showers and thunderstorms and likely brief and likely fairly light. As we go into Sunday night and Monday, the chances will increase for some of those showers and storms thanks to south wind bringing more moisture into the area, being a little bit more stout. A little bit more real robust, maybe even severe. Thanks for your photo there, Julia. Check out the 80s on Friday. A few spotty showers right here in the valley, a possibility. Same thing for Saturday, a few showers and storms. Sunday night, Monday, those chances of storms increase with the heat. Mid 80s, can you go figure? We went from flakes and forecasts of flurries to, uh, well, pretty nice conditions. And there will be no complaining about it. Because we None complained, we complained enough about the lack of heat. Address those complaints to yes. Mr. Mike Mork. All right, I'll take them. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Minnesota is now accepting applications for a hero pay for frontline workers. We'll tell you who can apply next.